Hi there, this is uh, Dave from uh, VideoFXUniverse.com and I'm just doing a requested tutorial um, on how to um, export a video into PNG file sequences. Uh, basically I have an animation here, I've got an F-18 Hornet plane and uh, as you can see it's moving around um, and what I'm going to do is export this as a, an image sequence. Now once you've got your animation complete go up to rendering render make sure that your f um, frame rate is set right as you can see we're using 0 to 100 so change the range from 0 from single to 0 to 100 now if obviously if you're using more frames like so if I want to change the uh, length for this I can change it to whatever I want but we're sticking to the 100 at the moment and, and obviously if you have 200 frames you will change this to 200 frames okay um, I'm using a uh, 35mm camera set at 1024 by 554 okay now I'm going to go down here and you should, should see the render output box here click on files okay now obviously because you're rendering a PNG sequence um, you need to make a file for them because otherwise if you save this to your desktop or whatever your desktop will just fill with a hundred frames of images and you don't want that so I'm going to right click new folder okay I'm going to call this uh, side okay and I'm going to go into this and type in side again and on the format section I'm going to click on this and change it to PNG click save that's okay and then what I'm going to do is click render make sure that your camera if you have a camera I'm using the perspective for this but if you have a camera make sure that it's set to the right one okay and um, if you want to lock your camera just click this so even if you click on this not all this you can see that the perspective is the only one that's going to render out and you won't accidentally render one of the other ones out so um, yeah like I say check to make sure that you're using your, your, your uh, camera for your animation and then just click render okay once you've uh, completed your render what you want to do is go into After Effects and then go to File Import File Okay, if I just find where it is, uh, uh, side, and here it is, you should see a whole set of images in this folder that I made. Okay, what you want to do is click on the very first one, make sure that PNG sequence is ticked, and click open. Now, what this does is takes every single frame that you've just rendered and it changes it into a video file. So move that down into the composition, and there you have the uh, the hornet that I just made as you can see it moves now here's the clever bit you don't actually need to um, worry about a background because um, as you've done it as a PNG sequence it just renders the alpha of the video so therefore the background is completely transparent so if I take this video for instance put it underneath the um, hornet and there we go we have a completely transparent background that's now turned into a landscape now if I just move this along, as you can see, the terrain moves with it. And that's how you export PNG files from 3D Studio Max and how they react when you uh, import the files into um, Adobe After Effects. That's the tutorial. Thank you very much. My name's Dave Jones from VideoFXUniverse.com.